Happy August, teachers! I hope you're having a great summer. If you're back in school, I hope you had a wonderful first couple of weeks back. For me, August always starts to kind of wind down my summer and I'm kind of always scrambling, trying to make sure I can get all those personal things done, those professional things done. And I know in my last video, I specifically talked about my paper planner, but if you're not a real like paper planner person and you wanted another option, I thought one of the great tools that I could show you was all about Google Keep. I'm actually using Google Keep a lot. I have the app downloaded on my phone, but I also use it on my computer to help keep me organized with everything I'm doing with Project Seed and any presentations I'm doing this summer, and of course, updating my products and things on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I thought I could do just a quick tutorial of Google Keep, and maybe you might want to try it out. And I actually think that this is a tool that I'm going to talk to my students about this school year, maybe give them a little option for station learning to learn about Google Keep, because this is an amazing resource that can help keep my students organized as well. To access your Google Keep, you're going to go to keep.google.com. And you can see that there's pretty much a blank slate here. This is my personal Google Keep. I wanted to kind of show you what it would look like if you haven't used this before. And so on the top here, you have an option of um, changing this to dark theme. I tend to use it in dark theme because I'm using my computer a lot, but um, more than likely yours looks something like this. Now you have options for what you can do in Google Keep. Um, you can create notes, which I think is the thing that I find most versatile. So with these notes, you can create a checklist and that's what I do a lot. So this is what I'm using to help keep me on track with things that I'm doing in Project Seed, any presentations that I'm attending or doing myself, and then of course, preparing for school. To create a checklist is very simple. You'll just go up to the box here, click the check, and then you can say something like, I don't know, to-do list and you can list your items. So I don't know, we have food shopping. Maybe we have to call mom. And then maybe, I don't know, I have to buy a birthday present. Okay. And then the other thing that you can do is you can organize your notes in terms of color. So I like to use color to help organize myself. So if you kind of click towards this little, um, it's like a paint canvas here, you can pick what color you want it to be. And then one of the other things that I love about Google Keep is you can also use an image. So if you use an image, I have these little headers that I've made that I use all the time. And um, if you click on one of the headers, I'm just gonna label this as personal. Notice that the header will form on the actual note. And when you click away, you've got your notes. So you have this cute little post-it note with a cute little header that gives you what you need to do for that part of your week. And then what you can do is if you finish each task, you can click off on the tasks and notice that it kind of takes them and puts them underneath. And so this really helps to organize you because you know what you've completed. If this is something weekly that you need to do, you can absolutely save this note and you can click the three dots here and you can uncheck all the items and start all over again for each week that you need to do these things. The other thing that you can of course use this for is just for regular old notes. Maybe you don't have a checklist, but maybe there's something that you have to remind yourself that you have to do. And so maybe on the top here, I'll just say, don't forget. And I'll say, um, NEACT presentation on Monday. And so for this, I am going to color code this. Maybe I'll do green and then I'm going to pick my heading. Maybe I'll say again, this is a reminder. Now, in terms of a reminder, you also have the option in Google Keep to create a reminder time. So if you click this little bell right here for remind me, you can pick the time that you wanna be notified. And if you add this as an app on your phone, it'll actually pop up on your phone. If you don't add it as an app on your phone, it'll pop up within your Google Chrome window. So for this, I'm gonna say remind me tomorrow at 8 a.m. And then when you click away, I have a second note. So that's a reminder note. 
One of the other cool things about Google Keep is that you can share notes with other people. So let's say you maybe have a sibling that has to care for, you know, an older person, maybe your mom or dad, and you have certain things that you need to do for them each week. You can share a collaborative note with your sibling to make sure that you've gone down the line and completed those tasks that you needed to. One of the ways to add a collaborator is to go to your note hover over the little collaborator here and you can add somebody by adding their personal email address and then they'll get a notification in their email that there is a collaborative note waiting for them and they will have full access to edit that note in their own Google Keep. And so all they have to do is go to their own Google Keep and they'll see it there. You also have the option of removing that person at any time. But with this, it's not as if somebody can actually just view the Google Keep note. Instead, the person has 100% editing ability. If you wanted to add another layer of organization to your Google Keep, one of the things that I love is that you have the ability to create labels. And so over here, you'll notice it says edit labels. So if I click on that, maybe I'll click uh, and type in reminders. And then maybe I'll add another one that says personal. And then maybe I'll add TPR for teacher prep room. And so now what you can do is you can add labels by physically going in and clicking that label. So for example, you can go in and click these three dots, go to add label, and I'm going to click reminder. And you can see that little tag that says reminder there will allow it to kind of be filtered for reminders. Another way that you can do it is by using a hashtag. So you can do, for example, hashtag personal and see it comes up right away. And right now it is in the personal category so that when I come over here, if I click on personal, notice that's the only note that is displayed. And if I click on reminders, that's the only note that's displayed. And then finally, there's no TPR notes that are displayed. Another feature of Google Keep that I love so much is that you have the ability to create URLs within your Google Keep notes. And so if there are URLs that you're using constantly, this is a great way to make sure that you're keeping track of all, the, all those URLs. If you're maybe not like a big bookmark person and you prefer to kind of see those URLs, this is what you can do. So if you go into your note, let's just pretend um, maybe I'm going to actually, maybe I'll create a new one. So this is going to be for, um, I'll just say post discussions for teacher prep room. So I'm going to say a uh, post in Facebook group. And let's just say, I'm going to go to www.teacherpreproom.com. And so when I do that and I click close, you can see that this link appears right then and there. So it's a live link. It'll take you right to where you need to go. And so this is a great way to organize all the links that you need to have if you need to visit certain links every single day. So you may say, Karen, how are you using this in your personal and professional life? So I'm definitely using this in my personal life in that I'm recording the things that I need to do before I go back to school. So I'm doing this for any like reminder appointments that I need to make, anything for my pets, um, anything for the house, anything for my car. I have a whole running list of things that I need to make sure that I do before I go back to school because when school starts, it gets to be too crazy. Um, in terms of professionally, what I'm doing is I'm using this to keep track of any presentation ideas that I have, um, keeping notes on presentations that I've attended. So I attended the best of ChemEd and I have a whole bunch of notes that I've taken from the presentations that I saw. Um, and then, you know, in terms of like other things that you could possibly use this for, again, reminders are great. You know, this is something that I use that reminds me, hey, you got to attend this meeting for Project Seed or hey, you've got this presentation session that you want to view. Um, so I absolutely love that part. And I do have it installed on my phone as the app because it just makes it so much easier to see. I always have my phone with me, so it's a lot easier for me to see what's coming up. As far as how I'm thinking about using this in school, well, I'm definitely already using this to keep track of student progress. Um, so I have notes, for example, on students that maybe, you know, there's some classroom management issues or I have some concerns about students. I'm using Google Keep to keep track of those things. I also am using it for students that request letters of recommendation so that I can check off the letters of recommendation as I complete each one. I even used it when I was at the best of chem ed and writing down some notes and things that the presenters were discussing. So now I have all of these Google Keep notes that I can save. One of the best features about 
about Google Keep is you don't need to delete your notes. So for example, if you don't want them on the main page, all you have to do is archive them. So if you go into your Google Keep and you click on this little um, like uh, square button, it looks like a downward arrow, you can click archive and it'll remove it from your page. And then if you have it in the archives, you can just go to your archive and pull it out if you need something. This has made a very versatile tool that I can use at any time and revisit things whenever I need to. So this was a very short and sweet video all about Google Keep and all about the things that I'm doing to help keep me organized as I prepare to go back to school. When I hear August, I'm automatically thinking, okay, it's time to wind down, have a million things to check off the list. Let's get started. And hopefully Google Keep will help make your life a little bit easier as you prepare to head back to school. And if you're already in school, bless your heart. I hope things are going well and I hope you'll let me know how it's going in the comments below. Either way, I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you all very soon.